Hello everyone, today I will present the paper entitled Fundamental Concepts in Digital Preservation. This paper has been written by me, Lars Junior, from the University of Porto and Maria Manuel Borges from the University of Coimbra. Considering the object, this work describes two basic theoretical concepts of digital preservation which any digital curator should master, bit preservation and functional preservation. In what regards the methodology, it consists of literature review concerning the concepts systematized in the catalog of preservation policy elements, escape projects deliverable. The deep preservation is only a subset of other aspects of digital preservation. In fact, it is the starting point of all activities of digital preservation. The definition of deep preservation should include several aspects of digital preservation by means of a holistic approach to maintain bits. A holistic approach is defined as an approach where the deep preservation is seen as something that should be recognized as part of a whole, where different circumstances can influence how the big preservation should be performed. In this case, the whole are all aspects of digital preservation as illustrated in the figure on the right. As you can see in the figure, the holistic approach to big preservation comprises big preservation itself plus part of digital preservation and of functional preservation. The holistic approach to bit preservation aims at contributing to the optimization of a way to preserve the bit by evaluating the choice of different bit preservation solutions in accordance to the importance of digital material for a given collection. So, the NDS8 model has a strategy that can be useful for associating bit preservation with other elements of the whole of digital preservation. The NDS8 model have four levels to five functional areas or categories. These categories make up the core of digital preservation systems. The first one is the storage and geographic location. The focus of this category is the storage of digital information. Each level change adds up new copies. The second one is file fixed and data integrity. The objective of this category is to provide a series of steps that will lead an organization to a stage where it is acting incisively to ensure fixity of its digital objects. The third has to do with information security. This category is intended to identify those who will write, execute, and delete a digital object, register logs of manipulated objects, and assign access restrictions. The fourth is about metadata. In this category, additional layers of metadata are presented. This becomes the most protected, identifiable and accessible content. In most systems, almost all of this metadata, except the descriptive, should be generated and processed exclusively by computer. The last category, file format, implies that digital objects are subjected to the structure and type of the file formats. In this category, level 1 suggests that organizations seek to use open and popular file formats. Level 2 suggests that organizations document the file formats in use. Level 3 suggests that organizations monitor file formats of obsolescence issues. Level 4 suggests that to perform format migrations, innovations, and similar activities.
cyber and accessible on a long term basis, regardless of its uniform resource locator, URL. The URL has the purpose of identifying the resource and describing its location, but may become inconsistent if the resource is moved to another location. So, the use of persistent identifiers is considered the best solution to preserve access to digital resources regardless of its URL as the persistent identifier will be assigned to a new location when the resource is moved. Here you have some examples. Handle.net registry is a service that is used by repositories which use the handle system such as those built with the DSpace software. The DOI system is used to identify articles. As it is defined in its web, in, in its help web page, a PURL is a persistent URL. It provides a permanent address to the access the resource on the web. When a user retrieves a PURL, they will be redirected to the current location of the resource. When an author needs a remover page, one can update the PURL to point to new location. Functional preservation. The functional preservation is the preservation of some of all functions of the original software environment. The preservation of bits will be useless if you cannot decode them and use the information. The preservation of the functions of the original application will be the next level of the conservation program. Functional preservation ensures the permanence of intelligibility and the usefulness of the bits in accordance with the purpose of preservation, which are conditioned by an institutional policy. Methodologies for digital preservation. Migration. This methodology is a functional preservation strategy that transforms obsolete or soon-to-be obsolete formats into more viable formats. Migration can also be performed before ingesting digital material into the repository in order to normalize file formats to be able to limit the amount of different file formats in the repository. As an example, we report the following statement from this space at MIT repository. It is some file formats can be functionally preserved using straightforward format migration, like TIFF images and XML documents. Emulation is the process of creating a virtual version of the original environment that was used to access a particular object. The virtualized environment is accessed through an executable emulator on a modern hardware and software platform. An example is the Project Sist4, a software package designed to emulate a Nintendo 64 video game system on a Microsoft Windows-based PC.
According to the glossary of the handbook of digital preservation, big preservation is not digital preservation, but it does provide one building block for a more concrete set of digital preservation practices and processes that ensure the survival of digital content and also its usability, display, context, and interpretation over time. This building block has a certain complex degree as shown by the holistic approach in the intersection with the big preservation itself, functional preservation, and digital preservation as a whole. Thank you for your attention.